This is the Citadel, a hub world level designed to connect the narrative and gameplay ideas of separate levels and provide a change of pace from other more combat and time trial based sections of the gameplay. The general layout has been built around this kind of corkscrew shape with bits of gameplay and so on nestled in and tacked onto that core idea. That mainly comes from a design philosophy from level designer Peter Field about building on uneven terrain to create more interesting spaces rather than everything being on one flat grid snapped level. So there's plenty of engaging variation when it comes to height and that kind of verticality complements this character's move. There's a wind shaft at the center to keep the player afloat, elevate them to higher ground, and let them navigate quite liberally while hovering. And that wind acts as a kind of safety net if the player happens to fall for any reason. Part of the level's purpose is to make the player feel safer than they would throughout the other levels in the game. And a big part of that is just making it hard to die even in a place where there's somewhat limited floor space. Unlocking new traversal abilities throughout the game opens up the world to previously unreachable spots and helps reduce the amount of time players spend retreading old ground the same way they did before. Each exit portal has a distinct location and appearance in the level so they act as orientational landmarks to help the player's mental mapping of the hub world on top of providing relevant information about the level's gameplay, its narrative, and its setting. It was also really important to use gameplay concepts introduced within other levels to the puzzles in the hub world, providing some sense of unity between the hub levels and the levels that branches out to. And there are plenty of those puzzles, by the way. There's lots of secrets and breakables. There's a little sub-narrative about a people that used to live here and that have been displaced by war. I've made loads more action-packed and theatrical levels before and since making this, but I still see plenty of value in a combatless, quaint little place to explore and unravel.